What's up, YouTube? This is Joel from Dream VR, and I run a children's Yay! channel. In September, I got a million views. Do you want to know how much money I made? Because I just got monetized, and I'm going to tell you. So first, you've probably heard in the past about kids creators making bank off of kids YouTube, and then the party ended because YouTube got sued by the FTC for COPPA violations, and now personalized ads can't go on kids' videos. So the ad revenue for Ryan's World and Coco Melon and all those creators making bank went way down. So is it worth it to create a kids' channel in 2022? How much are kids' content creators making? Stick around, and I'll tell you exactly that. Let me tell you the story of my channel. I've been making kids' content for about two years, and when I started, I was terrible. Here's my channel, Papa Joel's English. It is an English teaching channel for young children, but I use cartoons and songs put together into sort of a kid's program to engage children, and I'm trying to help English learners learn the English language with my content. But if you look at my analytics, you will see I have been doing this for about two years, and for the first two and a one and 0.75 years, I really stunk. Look at this. No views, then whoop, whoo, a little spike, and then no views for a long time until whoa, in September, the channel exploded. Do you want to know how I did that? Stick around, and I'm going to tell you. And I will reveal how much ad revenue I made for that explosive month with a million views. So, first, how did my channel explode? I found a magic video title. The way I found that magic video title, you can find in the description down below. You'll have to join Income School to get that proprietary information. I'm a part of a YouTube group called Income School. I bought their product. You can click the affiliate link down below and maybe they'll pay me if you join, I don't know. I grinded for two years in order to make better content and then I found a magic keyword for my audience using the techniques that these guys teach over at Income School and Channel Makers. The Channel Makers course is the one I, that I'm taking. So the magic video is called We're Going on a Monster Hunt. And I discovered that this was going to perform really well with my audience and with the type of video that I'm able to make, which is animated song videos for children. In August, I made this in preparation for the Halloween season, knowing that people would search for this and search for Halloween related content. So I called it, we're going on a monster hunt, Halloween movement song for kids. And this was my best performing video of all time. If you go into the analytics, you will see it started out with about a bunch of views in the first 12 days. My channel never gets that many views. And then the video just exploded up until September. And in September, this one video got my channel monetized and got up to about... It's almost at 600,000 views now. So this is, baby's been performing really well. You can see the estimated revenue over here. And so I used this to monetize my channel and it also lifted up all my other content. And that is why you will see a huge spike on this graph. That was all from Monster Hunt. And then I put out some related videos about hunting for monsters and those popped. So that was a great month. And that is how in September, I got a million views. In September, people watched your video 1,008,691 times. So my channel got a million views. I got monetized on September 2nd. And that's a funny story because my that video, Monster Hunt, was popping. And because it popped so fast, YouTube monetized my channel in two days. Normally you'd have to wait 30 days. That's the normal timeline they give you for monetization. I got monetized and do. <laughs> so thank you, YouTube. YouTube is really nice. I think what happens is if you are really popping, 
they will monetize you faster. This is a high performing niche. And one of the reasons that I could get a million views in one month and get monetized so fast is because this is an entertainment niche. And one thing that I found, I didn't have a million people watch my videos. I had 248,000 unique viewers, which means that some kids watch the videos eight times or 10 times or 20 times, or yeah, who knows how many times my returning viewers watch the videos, a lot of times. Those videos allow me to build an audience that loves to watch the same video again and again. So children's content, if you do it well, if you grind and perfect your video production skills and you make good content that people want to see, your audience will watch those videos again and again and again. That's how Pink Fong's Baby Shark video has more views than the population of the entire earth because some kids have watched it 3,000 times, not because the entire population of the, of the earth watched that video. So this entertainment niche, kids music, kids stories, kids animation, this can have explosive growth, even for small creators, if you pick the right titles. And I picked magic titles that would work for my channel. And if you wanna know how to do that, you can go to Income School and check out their YouTube course and they will teach you exactly how to do that. And now, time for the big reveal. How much money did I make for 1,008,691 views in September? $929.79, woot woot. That's pretty good. There are worse niches than kids programming that make less money. So that's about, a dollar per 1,000 views. Now, if you wanna look how the revenue scheme works, my playback-based CPM, or how much advertisers pay every 1,000 times ads are shown on my videos is $2.42, because there's no personalized ads, so it can't be that high. But because it's a holiday theme, I think it was higher than it's normally gonna be. Then my RPM, or how much I earn for every 1,000 views, is 0.93 cents. So if you multiply 0.93, times 1,000,893, you get my estimated revenue. And that's what I made. Hey, look at what the top earning content was. You see, there's this video, we're going on a Yeti hunt. Then the next video, we're going on a monster hunt. Then we're going on a Yeti hunt story for kids. Then there's a video that I made a long time ago called Herman the Worm that just gets 2,000 views a day, every day for the rest of eternity. And that made 46 bucks, woot. And Hide and Seek Story and More Camping Story for Kids made $46.22. I'm underwater in terms of how much profit I have from this channel. I paid more to make the videos than I earned. But I feel like uh, 900 bucks for a million views is, I'm really grateful. I'm grateful that I can do this. I'm grateful that I can make the money back that I spent on the videos because I had to pay $500 for Adobe software. If you wanna learn how to use that, stick with my channel, subscribe below, and I'll teach you how to make animations with Adobe Character Animator, like I do. And then I had to buy Final Cut Pro, which is $200, so I could composite my animations with real life video. I had to pay some freelancers to do um, Adobe After Effects compositing that I couldn't do myself in order to make those videos. If you got value out of this, if you wanna know more about my journey creating a kid's channel and how you too can make animated videos and reach an audience and build a business, subscribe down below. This is Joel from DreamVR, goodbye.